All right, hey everybody, this is Jesse with Create This, and this is our second trailer for MeshMaker VR. We've been live in the Steam store as an early access release since January 1st, 2017. This is our third feature release, and I'd like to demo some of the new features that are available. So, uh, first things first, we have new menus here uh, on the controller. So we've got Tools Show and Settings Show. This is our settings menu, and we've got snapping, on off. We've got uh, reference images, which is a new feature that I'll, I'll demo in a second here. And we've got alignment tools. And uh, let's go over to the tools menu here. So this is our new tools menu. We used to have all of this on the touchpad on the controller, but it makes more sense to, well, we, we ran out of room basically. Uh, so currently I have uh, the Vertex Add Move selected, and uh, let's pick an alignment tool down here. So these are our alignment tools. They're a lot like snapping, except you can place them in space and they stay there. After you place one, you can delete it. You have a number of different kinds of alignment tools. You've got the Y tool, the Z tool, and of course the 3D tool and the X tool, which is what we showed earlier. Uh, so we still have all of the original features. You can create vertices, and you can drag vertices around if you want to. You can uh, delete vertices. Let's delete that one. You can create faces on vertices. And one of the new features that's really nice is uh, we have this uh, vertex sticky selection mode now that turns them orange and so that way you know I've selected these two vertices and my next vertex that I pick is where the triangle is going to end up. So that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, uh, the next thing that you can do is you can delete faces if you'd like. So you can delete that face. When you go back to vertex mode your vertices are still there, it's just the face that's gone. You can also recreate that face if you'd like. There we go. You can flip the normal. When you flip the normal for a face, it points the other way. So I showed this before in the last demo, but this is the normal and it shows the direction that the face is pointing. So I can't see a face when I look at it this way, but when I look at it that way, I see that it's visible. Um, so this tool allows you to flip those normals around without having to delete the face, which is very convenient. Uh, we have a move tool, and with the move tool, you press the grips on the sides of the controller, and you can actually rotate the uh, object around as much as you want. If, say, you move it over there, and you don't want it over there anymore, and you can't remember exactly where you put it, um, particularly this is useful when you're using reference images, you can hit the reset button, and it goes back. By the way, all of these tools panes are movable. You can drag them around by this bar on the left. You can put them wherever you want while you're working. You can have them up if you want, or you can hide them. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like your tool palette. And I, that's pretty much it for the basic tools. So let's get into uh, the reference images. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and delete these vertices that I've just created. There we go. And let's turn reference images back on. So these are my two reference images. I have... I've actually got a third. It's, it's a mirror. The left and the right are mirrors of each other, and the front and the back are mirrors of each other. The way you set these up is in the same directory as the executable. You can Google for uh, how to find the Steam, uh, Steam game or Steam app um, home directory. But um, you, you put the image, all of these images in that same folder, and when you start up MeshMaker, it just loads them automatically. Um, so. This is front, this is back, that's left, I believe, and this is right, which is kind of reversed from what they actually are, oddly enough. There's also a top and a bottom, but I don't have them uh, visible right now. So again, you can turn them on and off anytime you want. They are actually movable, so we can walk up to one, grip it, I can teleport, it sticks to my hand as I teleport, and I can place it wherever I want. They don't rotate, but you can move them in the X and the Y directions. Um, actually, it might be the X and the Z directions. Anyway, you can do the same thing with this one on the right. And we're just going to put these kind of close to each other. And I'll show you, you know, one hypothetical way that you could maybe use these and, and set them up. 
This is kind of a, I want to call it a beta feature. Uh, I've used it a little bit. Um, it's neat, but uh, you know, it may be lacking. It may not be fully featured. So it's, it's kind of cool to play with and I, I fully expect it to change over time and become more practical and useful. All right, so say you've got this image over here and you want to line up this image over here with it. Well, the way I would do that is I would take a Z reference line and I would place my reference line right there where the corner is and maybe right there where the corner is. And it doesn't have to be perfect and also on the inside of that line right there. So I'm just placing these reference lines in accordance with uh, this image over here. And then what I can do is I can hide my tools window and I can turn off the reference lines so they don't annoy me. What I can do is I can drag this image over here over until it's approximately in the correct spot. Uh, now that works pretty well. Let's see if the, if the rear uh, part of the image lines up. It probably doesn't. Z line. We'll place this. Right. And you want to do it on the one that you started with. So we'll do it on this one over here. We'll place two of these. Right there and right there. And again, I'm just eyeballing those. So you can see that on this side, let's turn that off. Uh, go back to vertex mode. Oops. Let's delete that reference line. There we go. Go back to vertex mode. Okay, so you can see on this side that they line up pretty well with the corners, but on this side, uh, it doesn't line up quite so well. So what you can do is you can grab this with one hand and grab it with the other hand, and you can resize it if you'd like. But that becomes difficult, especially if you have a, a larger image, because it's kind of difficult to track on the left and on the right uh, at the same time where the lines are. So uh, perhaps an easier way to deal with this is to put what I call an anchor in the image. And you do that by just clicking the trigger on the image in the spot that you want to anchor. And it creates an anchor. And then you can reach out with a single controller and you can drag the other end until it lines up with where you want. And that actually resizes the image. And then when you want to get rid of the anchor, you just get rid of it. So that's pretty much it. That's the, the basics of using the reference image system. And then you can see how, uh, having done that, we can place vertices, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, let's just f flesh this out just a little bit here. Oop, I placed a uh, vertex by accident. I'll delete that in a second. So let's see, on this front image, uh, the top of the table is probably like right about there. Should be in line with this line here. Put it right about there. And well, that might not be right. No, that's too low. Oops, that happens sometimes. Delete this one. can never remember which one's X and which one's Y. So here I'm just closing one eye and I'm looking, I'm sighting down it for the other one. Don't need it very precise, just, you know, in the general area. And so now I know that if I want to make a vertex, I can make it right there. So I can grab my vertex here. I'll actually delete this other one. Actually, you know what? Why don't I just drag it? I already made this vertex. I'll just take it and I'll put it right there. If I didn't get it quite the way I wanted to, I can, I can move it around and create another one right there, drag it into position. And there's my vertices. So, and then if I wanted to, I could create another vertex right here. And I could start creating a face for the top of the chair. So hopefully that gives you an idea how this system works. Uh, and then in case you're curious, um, yes, when you rotate the image, the reference images will also be moved and rotated along with alignment, the alignment tools. So you can place this wherever you want. 
You can't scale the entire object yet. You can only scale the, the reference images individually, but hopefully that will be coming up in a, in a feature release very soon. And then if, if you get tired of where you put it, say you've got like a reference image in the floor and uh, you, know, you can't align it just right and it's kind of annoying you, you can just reset it and it goes right back to the beginning. So that's it. Uh, that's the current release of MeshMaker VR. It is January 17th, I believe, today. No, 16th. It's been 15 days since our initial release. So uh, hopefully we keep growing at the same rate. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.